Valentine's Day is less than a month away, and if you're looking for a unique gift, the Toronto Zoo might be able to help. It's a creepy, crawly new fundraiser to help with wildlife conservation. But as CTV Scott Lightfoot reports, you'll likely only gift it to someone who really bugs you. If you're over roses and chocolates just won't cut it, the Toronto Zoo is offering a new gift idea for Valentine's Day. This is not necessarily a gift for someone that you love. Um, this can be a gift for, for whatever reason you, you choose, and people are choosing all kinds of reasons. Why not gift someone with a six-legged reminder of just how you feel about them by naming a cockroach in their honour? I would honestly find that really funny. Because <laughs> I don't find cockroaches that bad. Of course, he doesn't because Kyle Banton Jones works with the insects. They play an important role in the environment. Uh, you know, the Madagascar hissing cockroach spends a lot of its time eating, uh, you know, uh, rotting wood and different plant debris all over the all over the ground and helping it decompose. And it's an important part of the ecosystem there. If your relationship is decomposed and your significant other bugs you, it might be the perfect present. They won't actually get the cockroach, but a certificate with the roach's new name and a tax receipt for the $25 donation you've made to the zoo's wildlife conservatory. There are a lot of programs at the Toronto Zoo, many of which are funded by uh, gate fees and municipal grants, but there are other programs that have no funding from those sources that really rely on donations. So we are, our role is to gather those donations and this is just one of the ways we're doing that. The zoo says all gifts will remain confidential, but they will release the most purchased roach names, which so far appear to be Jeff, and ironically... It is a hissing cockroach. Kyle. Scott Lightfoot, CTV News. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Yeah, I know. That's not going to work. We're all thinking, what would we name our cockroach? Okay.